I've drawn since I could hold a pencil. I had a lot of artists in my family. My uncle was a sculptor, um, as well as a sign painter. My grandfather was an oil painter. Uh, my dad and mom both drew. My dad became an engineer eventually. Uh, so art's been in my family for a while. I fell into tattooing by asking my artist how he got into tattooing. And he's like, just bring a portfolio of drawings up to the owner and, and let him check them out. And he, uh, he ended up liking my drawings and told me to come back in two weeks and start an apprenticeship. So it doesn't usually work out that way for most, but I got lucky. Honestly, I, I really enjoy the old Japanese uh, woodblock prints and um, folk art. Folk art heavily influences everything I do. I go antiquing all the time looking for paintings and uh, just anything, sculptures that kind of resemble tattooy imagery and uh, just take what I can from those. Uh, yeah, I use my own machines daily. Um, <clears throat> It's kind of, uh, you know, growing up tattooing and watching the price of machines, or at least for a good machine, just rise. Um, you know, you, you get to where you spend, you know, half a grand on a machine and you aren't happy with it any longer. So, started building my own, at least trying to tinker around with it and figure out how to do it. Um, and then it just become, you know, me wanting to dive into tattoo history more so, just putting everything I have into tattooing, trying to learn the ins and out of the tools we use on a daily basis. If you want to become a tattooer, do it the right way. Uh, don't just walk into any old street shop and try to get an apprenticeship with just uh, anyone who's willing to offer you that. Do your homework, make sure you're learning from someone who can actually teach you. I started tattooing 14 years ago and it, um, I remember not being able to walk down the street in my little small hometown uh, without being kind of uh, just looked down upon and you can like we're walking the streets here in California today and everyone's tattooed just about, which I think is kind of cool, but it's still, you know, it used to be for a certain type of person and it's now, you know, every soccer mom has a tattoo. So it's, you know, the taboo's kind of deteriorating a little bit. See, so yeah, I started playing guitar at 13, drums at eight. So music's always been a, a big part of my life. Um, and I, I kind of tattooed for a couple years as a, a way to support me wanting to be a musician. And then eventually it was just like, you know, I gotta put up or shut up with this. And uh, this is what's, you know, putting meals on the table. So I think a lot of tattooers go through that um, in the beginning. Some, some, not everyone, but they all have a dream and uh, it might not be tattooing, and then eventually it just kind of spawns into taking over your life, which is exactly what's done for me. Eat, sleep, and breathe tattoos.